I should really make something. But I don't know what to make. I can't make something unless it's gonna be perfect. But maybe I'm not supposed to make something. Maybe I'm just faking it. What are you talking about? I know how to make videos. I, I can do this. But can I? Yeah, but you think robot comes. Yeah, I guess I did that, but I still make art. Wait, so you call this art? Do I make art? It's not, but I'm a filmmaker and I make films. I guess films are art. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I am an artist. Who said you? Last year, I created the perfect morning routine. So, I constantly feel like I don't belong here. Most days I just feel like I'm impersonating someone else for views and clicks, and it's not something I always feel great about. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing with most of these videos, and to be honest, most days it feels like I don't even know how to make a video, especially when I sit down and try to edit one out, or just film one. But I try to make everyone else think I do because I sit down and analyze and mimic a lot of other YouTubers' videos so that I have some idea of how to make my own YouTube videos. Like, does that make me any less of a YouTuber because I'm not tr coming up with my own truly unique ideas and I'm just sort of taking ideas from a lot of different YouTubers and crafting my own? Honestly, these are all thoughts that I think about when I'm trying to make any video for this channel. It's actually the big reason why I'm making this video to begin with when I wanted to make another video that hopefully will be coming out soon. And if you're watching this, you probably feel the same way. But the big thing about filmmaking, photography, art, graphic design, any sort of creative endeavor is that you don't get better by just sitting there thinking about the ways that you can do certain things. You get better by just doing it and failing over and over and over again. And you're always gonna feel like you're not meant to be there because you're always gonna feel like you're an imposter. And that's the imposter syndrome. Not feeling adequate, not feeling like you're enough, not feeling like you know what you're doing, feeling like you have to sort of impose yourself into a certain world because other people have been doing this for years and their entire lives even, and you just don't feel adequate. And to be honest, there's nothing else further from the truth because they probably don't know what they're doing either. They're probably thinking the exact same thing that you do and they just know a way or a process of being able to get out of that mindset and create something that they are proud of. You end up creating this sort of false sense of reality where everyone is perfect and everyone knows exactly what they're doing at every point in time and they know exactly how to get from point A to point B to point C and etc without any question and without any anxiety, without any second thought of what's going on. But that's just not the way that it works. That's not how people operate. That's not how this all works. It just, it's, it's not true. So I actually have good and bad news for you, depending on how you want to take it. This feeling of imposter syndrome, this feeling of not being adequate, not knowing what you're doing, feeling like you don't belong, never actually goes away, which sucks. But the good news is that everyone else is feeling this too, and other people have come up with ways of getting around this feeling. So recently I had a shoot with a bar in town where they wanted me to be able to make a really basic promo video for them and they're really good friends of mine so I, I wanted to do the best job that I could but it had been months since I had created a promo video for a company and when I showed up on the day of the shoot I was nervous, I was anxious, I was really scared because in my head I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't feel like I knew what I was doing even though I've made lots of promo videos and that was actually the first thing I ever got started with with videography and filmmaking. And yet, after all these videos that I made, all of this progress that I've done, all these years of being in this, I feel like I, I didn't know what I was doing. It felt like I just was faking it. It felt like I just didn't know how to use my camera, didn't know what shots to get, didn't know what to do to be able to make a video for them that they could use to be able to advertise with. And having done this for you know over three years now, it's something that still comes up even now. Even when I was making this video, I didn't really feel like I was meant to make this video. It didn't feel like I was supposed to make this video because in reality, I don't know what I'm doing. Even right now, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going off a basic outline that has a general point of what I want to talk about, but I still don't know what to talk about. I still don't know what I'm doing. I still don't know how this is going to go. I'm just winging it. And I think by setting these sort of expectations with yourself, setting this overall grandiose idea of like what filmmaking is and how you need to be able to be perfect and you need to be able to create content that people want to watch in it. 
everything you do has to be perfect, you're creating the sense of impossibleness. You're creating this sort of fear in yourself because what you're thinking and what you want to do is impossible every single time. It's not something that's going to happen. Some of the top creators in the world look at their own content thinking it's awful. And I just, it's, it's, it's just insane to me that like everyone has the same feeling, but it's also comforting because you know you're not the only person sitting there thinking that your video has to be perfect and yet that your work sucks, when in reality, it doesn't. Your work to anyone else looks amazing. Your work to other people is wonderful. So I started realizing that if I created a process for myself, I could get out of this headspace and be able to move on with projects that I actually wanted to do. And there's a couple of ways that you could do this. For me, one is I just start somewhere. I start with the idea that I'm just going to make the worst possible video ever. I start by just creating shit. And it could be anything from editing a basic outline that I think sucks, looking at other videos and sort of mirroring ideas and topics and the structure of the video and creating a video based off that and just converting it to what I want to talk about and the way that I want to do it or just opening a project and just kind of moving clips around cutting basic clips together laying out the audio track I just start somewhere I do one step in the direction of where I want to go and I don't think about the end goal I don't think about the outcome I think about just that first step and then once I do the first step, it's easier to take the next step and then the next and the next. And you just start the snowball effect where you're not really thinking about all these fears and anxieties and, and things in your head. You're just creating. You're just going with the motion of it. And to be honest, I don't think there's ever really going to be an all time cure for this. You're not going to just jump into any project thinking that this is going to be amazing. It's going to work perfectly. You're going to know exactly what's going to go into this. It's just never going to happen. But I think that the process of just taking one step at a time and just knowing that everyone else is feeling this just helps immensely because now you can get over it because if someone else is feeling it, you can feel it too. Everyone just wings it. Everyone just fails forward and just hopes for the best. And sure, we have models and ideas and, and practice, but at the end of the day, none of us know what we're doing. We're all just kind of winging it and just failing forward and moving as quickly as we can. So if you're anything like me, maybe take comfort in the fact that we all feel like this. And if you're watching this video for information, for the ideas that I have, or just even being able to relate to someone else, thank you. Please make sure to comment down below if you ever felt like this, or even times where you felt like this. Please give the video a like, comment, and turn on that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.